Hi, it's me again, the preacher from the Philippines. I'm back. Continuation of our message. All it is, all unbelievers, all those who mock, deny, and blaspheme God, all who doesn't like to accept Jesus Christ as the Almighty God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, all Mormons who rely on good works, all Muslims, those who practice Islam, all Buddhists, Roman Catholics, Jehovah's Witnesses, Chants of Satan and Scientologies, and Hare Krishna, Seventh-day Adventists, Masonries, all who deny God, who deny Jesus Christ, who deny the Holy Spirit. I'm telling all of you, you will all surely be burned in hell for eternity. 100% guaranteed that one of you will escape hell. Let me just introduce to you myself if this is your first time watching my video. I am Pastor Roland Perez. I am a senior pastor, ordained minister when I was only 17 years old. I have 36 years of experience in studying, preaching the words of God. I went to Bible college. I took a bachelor of arts. I am a crusader, a Bibleist, teacher, evangelist, missionary. So I'm assuring all of you that I know what I'm talking about. Okay? From uh, my four Benis Denti. I have a question for you, sir. When will you convert to Islam? When will I convert to Islam? This is my response. No way! I am telling you! Allah is not God! So therefore, Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God! There is only one God! And that is Jesus Christ. The Son of the Living God, the Almighty God, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'll tell you this, all of you Muslims around the world, that one of you will escape hell. You see, if you will offer me now, today, one million US dollars just to be converted to Islam. I will just reply, shame on you. Take you one million US dollars. I will keep on preaching. I will keep on standing. I will keep on preaching the words of God. Fighting the truth until I will die. Okay. Um, uh, rivers on the moon and Norpax. God will not send us to hell. John chapter 12 verse 32 Jesus told us to forgive for he will forgive us no matter what Rivers on the moon I have to tell you this sir you are brainwashed manipulated deceived by Satan yes John 12 32 it says if my name will be lifted up I will draw all men unto me. But what are you doing, Rivers on the Moon? What are you doing? All of you at ease and believers, you too must be an enigmatic convertors. Are you lifting up the name of Jesus Christ? Do you bow down to him? Do you acknowledge him? No. What you are doing is just the opposite. You mock, you deny, you blaspheme him. And yet, you are expecting to be saved on Judgment Day. No way, I'm telling all of you. You are just kicking against the bricks. You are just pulling yourself. You will not be forgiven if you will not ask forgiveness. How can you be forgiven if you do not like to bow down and accept this great God? You are all full. Okay. I cannot understand this from you, Mus Piano. We are all condemned, damned to be born in hell for eternity. And yet God is not willing that any of us will perish. It's like this, Mr. Mus Piano. I've been explaining this. I don't know. How come you are not getting the point? 
The situation is like this, Mr. Muspiano. The Bible is very clear. Because of one man's sin, and that is Adam. We all became sinners. And the wages of sin is death. That is, that is eternal separation. Because of that sin, we are all done, condemned to be born in hell. But God so loved us. God made a way. So that you and I will not be born in hell when he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever will believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. So therefore, the choice is yours, Mr. Muspiano and Convertus. All of you, if you will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you will bow down to him and repent from your sins, these are the conditions of God's mercy and forgiveness. If you will repent and turn from your wicked way. Then you will be forgiven. God will have mercy. He will forgive you. That's what the Bible says. So, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. But if you will remain stubborn, boastful, arrogant, stubborn, I'm telling you this. Not one of you will escape the wrath of God. You will all burn. In hell for eternity. Okay, Convertus again. Roland, after six months of preaching, what you told us is that God is a tyrant that deserve. Oh my, that do not deserve any worship. Your mission has failed. Yes, Mr. Convertus. Because you do not like to accept the truth. That's why. Jesus Christ is a forgiving God. He's a compassionate God. He is a loving God. He will forgive you if you will only ask forgiveness. If you will only repent and you will turn from your wicked ways. But if you will reign defiant, arrogant, and boastful, I'm telling you, Jesus Christ will not hesitate to cast you to hell for eternity. Okay, Mr. P. Channel again. If someone practices Islam, but he isn't very good at it, will he still go to hell? Chris Angel is greater than Jesus. P. Channel! You are still defiant! I'm telling you, you will be born in hell! Anybody who doesn't like to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, anybody who doesn't like to repent, anybody who doesn't like to turn from their wicked ways, anybody who doesn't like to acknowledge Jesus Christ as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords will surely be born in hell. If you are a Muslim, if you are a Buddhist, if you are a Mormon, if you are an atheist, unbelievers, if you are a Roman Catholic Church, Scientologist, Missionaries, Church of Satan, Jehovah's Witnesses, you will all burn in hell. Yes! Hell, hell, hell! That's where it, that's where it will be your eternal home. I'll continue on my next message.